Previously on Glory on the Rhine. In the last episode, we took up Freiburg at their place and picked up a 1 0 win. We also beat Cologne at home. And we also picked up a 1 1 draw against Mainz. In this episode, we'll be taking on Hofer Berlin at their place, Hanover at our place, and Wolfsburg on the road. The Bundesliga, often dominated by a team from the south. The Bavarians have fought off the battle from the team in the yellow and black. But a new power comes from the west. A new force rises from the Rhine. Welcome to Schalke 04. So we're kicking it off right here, right now, with 13th place Hofer Berlin up against 12th place Schalke. This is my squad for the match. Langer, Ozopetscha, left back, Nastasic, Nsua, Koch, Bentaleb, Goretzka, Knoplianka out left, Maya and Bolo out right, and Bergstaller up front. Uh, Farman, my main goalkeeper, out injured. So Langer comes in for his first match of the season. So let's do this. Kicking us off in our familiar white away strip. Let's see how we fare all oh my days already. 46, 47 seconds gone and we are down. That's fine for Hertha Berlin. Fabulous. There's a lot of animosity right now with the Schalke squad and myself. So I'm a little bit under the cosh, so any positive results right now would be great. But we're going to have to do it the hard way. So I'm really experienced at the sharp end of top top level football. Obviously, my previous experience is a new save with Hibernian and my two seasons with Leighton Orient. This is probably the highest level I've managed, and I'm actually finding it quite a challenge. Anyway, here we build. And Bolo does something, but it ends up for Hertha Berlin now as they build looking for goal number two. So I had a bit of trouble with one of my youngsters looking for a contract negotiation. I said, no. Nope. Oh, where we go? 2 0 down. Solomon Carlu involved with both of those goals. Anyway, so I refused contract negotiations, telling him, you know, politely that we would uh, talk at the end of the season. But uh, he didn't take it well. So did the, some of the other players didn't take it well. And now I have a fight on my hands. Anyway. Back in the game, 2-1. And Bola with a strike. This would be a... I, I'd, I'd take a point, considering that we've um, got a substitute keeper in and away from home. But right now, Berlin putting us under the cosh. This could... Uh, Could be tricky. Anyway, we're edging towards the half time mark. But right now, Berlin dominating this game 60% possession to our 45 shots to our three. Four of those on target for them and two for us. We are right on the money. There we go, half time. Bit of team talk. Bit of aggressive, uh, not really. The response I was hoping for, and Berlin kick us off second half. For a goal down, Chelsea's f former player, Solomon Kalu. Key player for Berlin these days. Also, Petra crosses it in there. And a corner for Ber <coughs> Berlin, excuse me. And nothing, nothing amounts to those attacking plays. Free kick by Berlin. Makes the keeper work, but I think it's a free kick for Schalke. Cracking the mentality up a little bit, going for attacking. We need to try and get something from this game. The uh, players on my back, fans on my back. This could be one of the shortest game saves in FM18 history. Kerr has the man who was asking for the contract. Um, you know, he still has 18 months left. Anyway, changing it up. Meyer. Pushing him forward, gonna probably swap him out a little bit here. 
Yeah, and I'll take Bentaleb off. And I'll take uh, DeSanto, the Toothless Wonder, up front and change Burkstar maybe to uh, defensive forward. That should do it. Hopefully we can uh, find an equalizer. We have the players. We have the players to be in the mix. But right now, finding it hard to find the back of the net. And Giuseppe Rossi's close. Close to getting involved, but crack it up to overload now. Berlin, looking for three. I'm looking for two. I suppose to, uh, to Maya, but doesn't get it. Eventually falls to Bergstahler as a snapshot. Pushes out for a corner. Stasic could have headed that in there, but no. Full time whistle is only three minutes away. Also, Petra back to Langer kicks it out, but now Berlin build looking for a third, but it's uh, only a goal kick. The set. Oh my days. That's the best I've got up front, I'm afraid. I'm looking forward to when Giuseppe Rossi comes comes back, makes his debut. He's he's a striker. Oh offside there. DeSanto has a cheeky header. Nearly nearly got us uh, an equalizer. Carlu with an effort. It doesn't look like we got it in us. Free kick. Yeah, we are struggling. We're struggling to try and get the results. And there you go. There it is. Ibzevic for her Berlin. 3-1. So, a bit of flack. I'm going to have to try and keep my head down a little bit so that they don't uh, get their way anyway try and kiss ass a little bit so that result leaves us in 13th place and half a Berlin up to eight next up for us is Hanover who are in fifth place Here's our second game, and in this one, it's home for Schalke up against fifth place Hanover. It's going to be a tough one, and this is my squad. Langer in goal, Osipetja, Nastasic, Kerha, Koch, Bentaleb, Goretzka, Knoplianka, Maya, Kalguri, and Mbolo up front. So, a few more days have passed, and a few more arguments have developed, and yep, I am right in the mess. My visitors, Hanover, 442. Not the greatest team talk, but let's let's just see what we got. Home match. Can we get something out of this? Free kick, Kopnak, Glianka, Calguri, good effort. More of that, please. Corner for Hanover. Good strong shot. Langer pushes it up and over. Second corner. Straight to the arms of Langer. Hanover building from the back. Nice interchange with their uh, defenders. A bit dangerous play. But they get away with it. And again, a good save by Langer. Pushes it out for another corner. Can't really get our gut sales in the match so far. Another big effort there by Hines. Everybody runs, crosses it in the box. No one's on the end of it. He boots it long. And here come Hanover. Another effort, another save, another corner. Doesn't really amount to much at the moment. That's good. 
keep them coming. Cup back over the corner. I trust to get a go right. Scare, but he couldn't get on the end of it. As for the match itself, it looks like Hanover dominating with 55% possession. Knobrianko tries to get a shot in there. Nothing. Oh, my days. Corner, though. Still nothing. Like I said, 53% for Hanover. 48 for Schalke. Seven shots apiece. Three on target for Hanover. Two on target for Schalke. 30-odd minutes gone. Pretty level. And here they are again. Building slowly, patient play. And there's another effort. Wide. 40-odd minutes. The half time is about to be here. Only one minute of extra time, and it should should be half time. I think Hanover just shade it. 52% possession. Bit of an assertive team talk, and yes, blow it once again. They do not like me. Oh, that was a good effort there by Calgary. Meyer could have put his head on it. I'm thinking that, you know. I'm pinning my hopes on Giuseppe Rossi coming in and being the saviour of Schalke. And I could be uh, I could be fired before he even gets his first match for Schalke. So that's kind of uh, a little frustrating. Let's make a bit of a change here. Bring DeSanto on again. Switch it up a little bit. See if he would be fancy scoring today. He is my only out and out striker. Pushing the ball out left. And let's just go with that. Bergstahl will be coming on next too. If nothing can be resolved here. Switch it up. Attacking now. We are at home. Might as well go for it. When I'm at 35, I'll probably make another change. Yeah, Calgary back to right back. Bergstahl are coming on for Coke. Hmm. Uh, check this youngster on Schopf. Let's go with it. Now, what's there left to lose? Just my job. Just my job. Last 10 minutes. Is there anything left in the tank? By anybody. Not the greatest match. 11 shots for Schalke. 9 for Hanover. Going overload last couple minutes. And Hanover build. Bit of pressure. Doesn't really amount to anything. So we might, might get away with this one. <laughs> Again. Really we should be winning these. We should be winning these. Team talk. Let's go a little uh, aggressive. Yeah. Psh. Whatever. Bit disappointed with that. But that result leaves us in 12th spot and Hanover in 5th place. Our last match of this video is up against Wolfsburg who currently find himself in 11th spot. And here we are after the international break with our last game of the video. Wolfsburg host us. They are currently 10th spot and we are currently struggling in 13th place. But there is a saviour on the horizon, Giuseppe Rossi. Let's have a look. This will be my starting 11 for this match. Farman back in goal. Ossipetja, Nastasic, Kerha, Koch, Bentaleb, Strambui, Harit, Meyer. Calguri and Mbolo up front. Goretzka's out with an injury, but Knoplianka, Bergstahler, and Giuseppe Rossi up front. But in fact, I'm going to bring on Bergstahler and uh, 
put Embolo on the bench, um, mainly because he's he's actually been quite impressive in front of goal. So a good bench though. Strawberry might be lacking a little fitness, so I'm excited about this one. Maybe Rossi can uh, can uh, can help us. And Wolfsburg, similar kind of formation, a little bit more defensive at home. Kind of got away with that team talk, no grumpy faces. And Wolfsburg build already from kickoff. Liverpool man or Gilly or Giari in amongst the players. Corner early for Wolfsburg, but here we break. Meyer tries to uh, build something, but pretty well for to be honest with you. Wolfsburg once again trying to uh, put my keeper under some pressure, early pressure. So already one shot, one on target, and um, yeah, they're, they're putting a mantle down here. All Wolfsburg at the moment. A couple of big tackles flying in there, but Farmer saves any shot coming his way. Fifteen, twenty minutes gone. All Wolfsburg. And that was a that was an effort, but I think it was offside. Farmer boots it out, but but Wolfsburg get it right back. Gomez is involved. Big old shot there, doesn't really trouble the keeper. So just a few Rossi waiting in the wings. Not necessarily match fit, but he might get some game time. And they, oh, they're getting closer and closer. Five shots, three on target, and really dominating the possession. Montoya might, f might feature also. He's uh, my loney. And also Knopfly Anchor. As we edge towards the halfway mark. Not really been at the races here. That's probably the best effort of the game. Maya takes the corner, but doesn't really amount to nothing. Oh, golly. John Brooks, American John Brooks. Puts Wolfsburg in front right before the half halftime missile. And they're trying to go for number two already. They're coming from the left, off the crossbar. Uh, blow up. Come on, go on, ref. Here they go again. Bergstaller holding up play. But uh, they lose it. And oh my days. Farman saves for yet another corner. And that's your whistle. That's your half time. Pretty piss poor performance so far by Schalke. And let's see what happens. Second half. Rossi's already warming up. He knows he has to come on. Calgary over the cross. Also Petcha. Maya. No go. So around about the 60th minute, I might make a couple changes. We're only one goal behind. Famous last words. Coke picks it up. Chiara. Calgary Strambui puts it forward. Bergstahl with an effort. We've had a couple of chances. Get ready. Big boot by the keeper. Wolfsburg now crosses it in there. There's number two. Dang it. Got to push another guy up front. Try and see if we can get something out of this. Bring Ambolo on. Bring Rossi on. And bring on Knopfnianka. Triple changes. And push him forward. See if we can get anything out of this. Must have to lose. My dignity, my job, everything. So Rossi on for his debut.
Here they come again. Bergstahler. Eventually comes to Rossi. Crosses in the box. Not, not the greatest first bit of key play. Gomez with an effort. Big bad boy Mario Gomez. Now we're going overload. Last 20 minutes. Can we find something in this game? To at least get a little bit excited about. 16 shots on target. Well, 16 shots, 11 on target for Wolfsburg. That's how piss poor Schalke have been. And we really, I think if we can survive into the next video, we need to address this and maybe be a bit more defensive. Oh my goodness. 3 0. And, and, and less about the uh, going forward. Maybe a. Maybe a 5-3-2 or a 5-4-1 formation. Alberto with the cross. Rossi with a header. Nice one. I'm happy with that. 3-1 down, but uh, a little bit of a little bit of pride. So yeah, maybe toying with a new formation in the next in the next video. Um, should we last that long? That's that's all I'm saying. Should we last that long? Stasic with the uh, clearance and oh my goodness. Yeah, I could be I could be out on my ear before uh, before the next vid. Yeah, it's been tough though. Shut, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Come on, just blow up, blow up. We only took one point from a possible nine today, so that's not ideal. Bergstahl with an effort there. Come on. I'm ready. I'm done. Who was it? Mario Gomez. He was the main figurehead here. Assertive? Nah. Aggressive. Not happy. Maybe that buy me some time. Am I going to be fired? I don't know. That result leaves us. 14th place it leaves them in eighth spot we are on eight points though maybe a win in our next game could push us up a little bit to the mid table and might kind of hold the uh the axeman for a few more days i think i might hang on i think i might be able to hang on for one more video at least but in the next episode we'll be taking on hamburg stuttgart and hoffenheim in a triple header and one of those games is in the cup. If you've enjoyed this video, you might want to check out my other two game saves. The Pride of Edinburgh, featuring Hibernian. And Reach for the Summit, featuring Real Sociedad. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.